In this problem, they say what answer will Lenora get if she correctly simplifies the expression below. So here's the expression, I'm going to rewrite it. 4x to the third times y to the fifth over 2x squared y. Um, one easy way to break a problem like this down is to break it apart. And so instead of 4 times x cubed times y to the fifth, I want to think of that as separate terms, 4 times x to the third times y to the fifth. I haven't changed anything, I'm just rewriting it so I can see that there is uh, a space here and I can deal with these terms separately. I'm going to do the same thing in the denominator. And what that allows me to see is that we have really three fractions that correspond that we can reduce. So 2 divided by f 4 divided by 2 is 2 x to the third divided by x to the second, well that's just x. We subtract those exponents there, and you can think about it, x to the third is x times x times x over x to the second. These like terms here cancel out to one and just x is left over. So a shortcut is to subtract the x's from these x's here. So it should be x to the first power. And then last we have y to the fifth over y, which is y to the fourth. We subtract those exponents, and the y here is just y to the first, because y to the first will just equal y. So typically we just write y, and it's implied that the exponent is 1. And the reason we subtract the exponents there for y to the fifth, which is 5 y's multiplied over y to, the, y to the first, is because this one y down here will cancel out with one of the y's above, leaving 4 in the numerator. So if we were to reduce this correctly, we would get 2 times x times y to the fourth. And the property that allows us to regroup like this is called the associative property of multiplication. All right, hope that helped.